Seven months later, our capsule is approaching the boundary of the Great Red Planet. As the final pieces of our spaceship enter the atmosphere of Mars, the capsule begins to heat up like a giant fireball. When the capsule gets low enough to the ground, a parachute opens up to slow down our rover's descent. As the capsule gets even lower, it splits into half to release a triangular shaped box, which contains our robot. The final part of the landing occurs when this triangular shaped box inflates balloons around itself. When it's just a few hundred feet from the Martian surface, the last of the thrusters fire to really slow down the craft's speed. The cord connecting the box to the rest of the spacecraft is cut, and the robot, protected by the inflated balloons, then falls to the surface. The robot bounces until it comes to a complete stop. The box then unfolds itself to allow the robot to begin to explore the surface of Mars. Because the box holding the robot was so small due to the fact that it had to fit on the spaceship, NASA scientists had to be able to fold the robot into a small space. However, once the box opened up, the robot could then unfold itself to full size. This robot, called Spirit, is the first of two robotic rovers of NASA's Mars Exploration Rover mission. It landed successfully on Mars on January 4, 2004, three weeks before its twin, the robot called Opportunity, landed on the other side of the planet. This robot was expected to last for a 90-day mission, collecting, analyzing various rocks, as well as to take many pictures of the surface. However, it was designed so well that it kept on working. It went on to function effectively over 20 times longer than NASA planners expected. In fact, they are still operating, collecting data today. This has allowed it to perform more extensive geological experiments on Martian rocks and planetary surface features. So not only has NASA developed all sorts of really awesome robots that are in use already on Mars, but we are on the forefront of all sorts of new technologies as well for the future. Even now, as we speak, NASA is creating new and unheard of technologies to traverse foreign planets and explore unknown worlds. One of the many, many projects that NASA is currently working on is the Tetrahedral Rover Robot. This robot presents a completely new way for robots to move. It has no wheels, has no legs. Instead, it simply extends and contracts its edges to roll around the surface like a giant amoeba. There are many advantages to this design. It can roll up very steep inclines where a legged robot might not be able to. It can crawl over rocks where a wheeled robot could not be able to pass those very same rocks. Or, if there was a small crack in a rock, this robot can even squeeze itself through and get to the other side. When this robot is fully developed, humans could use it to explore areas in Mars that we could never have explored before with the robots that we already have sent there. Now wasn't that cool? This is an actual robotics project that NASA is working on just today. I mean, this is a robot that doesn't have arms, it doesn't have legs, it doesn't have wheels even. But yet, we want to send it to the Martian surface and have it go around and collect all sorts of data for us. And this is just one of many different robotics kind of projects that NASA and other companies are working on today. You know, that's true, Aaron. There's so many robots out there. Just in the clip of this video, we've only got to show you a few. We wish we could show you more, but unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's true. We would love to spend much more time with you guys, share all sorts of cool robot videos. 
but we actually have to go where get, get back to work on robots. But be sure to stick around. We're going to show you one more video, and then um, we're going to be around to answer questions. So it's going to be both me and Grant and a few other engineers, too. We can answer any kind of questions you have about it. That's right. So in conclusion, we'd like to show you this short clip of some robots that are not yet attainable, but maybe in the future will be. In fact, maybe even one of you will help design one of these robots.